is it working? Is the audio working? Because I just filmed a 19 minute video and the audio was messed up. But you know what? I'm gonna do it again. Okay, take two. Good afternoon. Well, good afternoon, guys. Um, actually, it's almost uh, like it's almost basically evening. It's like 4:20 um, and like 4:20 p.m. Um, and I just got back home from school. Um, I rode the bus here. Um, it's been like a month since I've uploaded a video, uh, like three weeks to a month. So much has happened in that month that I like can't even believe. Like two and a half years worth of things, and, uh, mainly dealing with school and where I want my future to go, has completely changed. Um, so about two months ago, I moved down to my uh, college town, which y'all knew about. Something that I had in the past videos, but um, so I moved down and I've uh, been in school. I've been. Um, studying nutrition. Nutrition is my major right now. Um, I'm studying that uh, on, I'm a pre-physician assistant track. So a uh, physician assistant is like a, basically a mid-level healthcare provider. Um, basically do the same things that doctors do. We can prescribe medicine, uh, do surgeries, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, that's the track that I've been on and that's where I wanted to go with nutrition. Um, but today is Wednesday and Sunday night slash Monday morning. I was up until like 4 a.m. Um, just like sitting there. I mean at first I was doing homework and then I just stopped and I just kind of laid there and I was thinking to myself like what am I doing? You know, like why why am I on this track uh, to becoming a PA like I was I, fi I was finally realizing that it, it wasn't something that I wanted to be doing forever like um, ever since my first semester in college, right after graduating high school in 2014, um, I've been telling myself I want to be in nutrition, and I was on like, I was thinking pre-med, and then I found PA, and so I decided on PA. But ever since then, you know, I, I've been like taking basic classes, um, uh, on, like on that path to get some classes out of the way before I transferred here, um, and I've been, I mean, it's been tough, but I really haven't had too much of an issue with it. But one thing that I notice now is that that this entire time of becoming a PA, I've been thinking, well, like PAs can work part time too because they can. They have really lenient schedules um, if you work with the right people in the right specialty. Um, so they can work part time. They can work like two or three days a week. And I was thinking, well, I'm trying to shorten my time that I wanted to spend, that I wanted to spend in that profession of, so yeah, this whole time I've been thinking of like um, working part time and doing something else. And I kind of just, I kind of like started realizing, I just felt so down and like, I was not excited for the future. Um, I was not really wanting to be focused on pure PA. Um, I had other things that I wanted to do and I've had other things that I've always wanted to do. It just took me this long to realize it. Um, so this week, like Monday, actually that Monday, I uh, I went to school. I came back, and actually that Monday, I decided to go get advising for a major that I'm trying to get into. Uh, it's called telecommunication media studies, and um, that Monday I got an advising, and I felt I felt really I felt really good about it. Um, but something in I was being stubborn, like I was being stubborn in my head and I came back that Monday after getting advising and I was like, okay, I'm going to call some PAs in the town that I live in now that I'm going to school in. I'm going to call some PAs so that I can shadow them and, you know, get a real feel of what they look like, which I didn't care to do before now, which was really something that I could have done to not really prevent this, but help me know if that's really what I want to do every single day which I already knew, it wasn't what I wanted to do every single day because I was already telling myself, how can I shorten my schedule while being a PA? So I just, I, I said stop. Stop doing this because it's not something that I wanna do 
And uh, even whenever I tell my friends that I've decided to switch my major, uh, they've just been like, why not? Why, why just now? Um, why have you just now decided to do this? Like they were, they kept telling me that they could see me like this is what is right for me. They see, they see me in that way. And I was just like, I, w I kept asking them, how do you see me in this way? But then like, as I think of, as I think about it, my perfect future, um, even that, even that I've researched since being a freshman in high school, I've been researching where I want to go to school, what I want to do. Like I would write a list of things that I was interested in and that like, I remember writing that list like it was yesterday. Um, and the main one thing that I've always told people my goal in life, and I even tell myself it's my main goal in life, um, is to travel. And even like as a PA, I, was, I would always be thinking, how can I travel as a PA? So I would be researching and I found like travel PA cores or whatever. Um, and you would basically spend like eight to 12 weeks here doing this temp job and like most likely a hospital and then move over to this location and do like eight to 12 weeks and temp if you want to keep doing that. I was really interested in it, but it was always for the wrong, like I was always on, I was on the wrong path. I was interested in the right things in the wrong field. Um, so I finally decided to change my major and all those science classes that I took in the past um, and hard math classes, it, even that I'm taking right now, I just had my first OCHEM exam and I'm in statistics and two nutrition classes, which I really don't like. I still, I'm still taking those and they're not gonna count for anything And after I um, move majors, which is hopefully will be next semester in the spring. Um, they won't count for anything. And it's just crazy to think that I am actually okay with that. And I feel really relieved um, for the decision that I've made. Um, and that's just crazy because I've always been the person who's like, oh, I don't need to waste any time or any money. I need to get college done in this amount of time and only spend money on classes that I really need for this specific path and take nothing on the outside unless it's paid for, um, which is what I've been going by. But tell, them telling me that those classes will not count for anything and me being completely okay with that and just feeling so relieved that I get to do something that I'm really like passionate about um it's it's one of the best feelings that i've ever felt um i'm ready to experience the world i've always thought about i thought of myself as an explorer and as an adventurer and this is really my first big adventure um that i mean it's college and this is where you learn about um yourself you don't have to come here to learn about yourself but i feel like I've been on and off about college the whole time and I should have taken that into consideration when thinking about going to grad school and all that. But it's a place that I am glad that I came to um, and that I am in. I've only been here for three weeks and I just started these expensive, harder, and really science-based classes and in three weeks. I decided that it wasn't for me. Like, I still have to finish out the entire semester, but I'm okay with that because I know after this, I'm gonna be doing what I want and the money the money doesn't matter to me anymore. Um, I would always tell myself why it might matter, like, oh, I need money to travel, or, which I do, but uh, I need to make all this money so that I can travel. But when would I have the time to travel if I'm in this career that I could be making my career that travel and sharing those stories with people and yeah it's just so many new things have I have realized um, that are much more important to me than uh, the money um, so yeah I mean I've made this de decision and I am so relieved because of it um, I, I'm really glad that my parents have always been those type of parents telling me to go for what I want. And I have actually been that person that says, oh, you need to do this and you need to do that because that's what's better for you and that's what a real job is. But I don't, I don't, I don't want a real job if, if I'm not passionate about it, um, which what I'm going for can be a real job. Um, but I was like super excited to pick up a camera more, um, make videos, uh, photography. 
possibly writing I've always I've never liked academic writing but it could be different um, so I, I'm interested in trying that out and there's just there's so many possibilities and no matter what I do it will always be centered around this this digital space and I, I'm I couldn't be more excited about where I am headed so yeah, I'm really glad that I have that I had that sit down heart to heart uh, with myself um, because if not, then I wouldn't be here. And I'm so glad that I came to the realization that life life is once you get one life, and I don't wanna I don't wanna be old thinking what if I did this or what if I did that. Like I still want to do this or I still want to do that. I want to live a happy and fulfilling satisfying life. I am so glad that I've had this lesson, this biggest lesson in the three weeks that I've been here. Um, other than organic chemistry, those lessons are pretty big. Those are intense. But I'm really excited and you know, you can do anything. Uh, you're gonna go through that phase where you're thinking, I need to do this because it's what I need. But I can always, I can promise you that do that and that want will always be back in the back of your mind. So like that's that's something that you want to do. Uh, you will. I I really believe that if you follow what you're feeling and you just do what you feel inside is like so um, exciting to you. Sorry about the huge gaps, but I feel like this is something that I really needed to come to terms with uh, putting all that distracting stuff away that I don't really want um, and really focus on what I want. Uh, other than finish these class finishing these classes this semester. And um, yeah, uh, keep keep watching. I am new to this still. Uh, it's brand new to me. Um, I know this video is probably really long. It's my second one because the first audio messed up. So, but yeah, so uh, I appreciate everything. Uh, I'm brand new to this, so and I'm just getting used to talking in front of a camera. You know, it's very different. So yeah, uh, I will be making more though, um, and I will see y'all in the next one. Thank you.